Hi, it's Annie Kelser with Urban Fitness Twin Cities, and today I'm going to be showing Keita a rotational exercise. So especially if you need strength while you rotate, which is kind of helpful all the time, but especially if you're a golfer, this is going to be a great exercise for you to incorporate to help create that strength as you rotate. So we're gonna be using a stability ball or a yoga ball to get this done. And then you're also gonna need a sturdy wall to be able to put your feet on. So Kato, I'm gonna have you go ahead and sit on the ball. You're gonna sit on the front edge, like the front half of the ball. That's just gonna reduce the risk of her kind of toppling over the back, safety first. And then she's gonna place her feet on the wall. So you might notice that you feel a little bit crowded, you're a little bit too close to the wall. If that's the case, just take your feet down, scoot back a couple of inches and try again. Okay, do you feel like you have any risk of falling back? I'm gonna have you put your feet back down on the floor and then you're gonna set yourself, we're gonna scoot the ball back a couple of inches. Yeah, good, now go ahead. So I'm also gonna have you go a little bit wider with the feet, and that's just gonna create some stability right to left as we add in this rotation. So about a little wider than hips? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, and it's all just about feeling comfortable here. So if you feel like you have any risk of kind of falling off to the side or to the back, then we wanna make adjustments because follow definitely follow that intuition or have somebody near you so they can just keep their hand on the ball to steady it. So here, she's actually sitting up with a pretty straight spine to start, but I'm gonna have her soften through the center and she's gonna create this C-shaped spine. So her tailbone's kind of tucked under, pointed at the wall, and then she's rounded in the whole spine here. She's gonna keep that range of motion, or excuse me, that position the whole time. So I'm gonna have you place your hands behind your ears. Good, and that's just gonna create a little bit of extra weight and difficulty back here. You can have them out in front of you if that's more comfortable. So she's gonna open up a little bit as if she's gonna fall out to a sit up, but she's gonna maintain this nice curve and only go down to where about her low back is now supported on the ball. From here, you're gonna scoop up leading with your shoulders and create a rotation in the torso up like your right elbow is reaching toward her left knee. And then as you come back down, you're gonna face the wall again, straightening out. I'm gonna have you go to the same side. And actually, I would probably cue her differently than I did the first time. Instead of reaching her elbow, I like her reaching her right shoulder to her left knee. That means the torso is really doing the work and we're not just flapping the arm back and forth. So I like to see clients, if they feel strong enough, doing a whole bunch of these, maybe 10 or 12 on one side before you would actually rotate to the other side, taking the left shoulder to the right knee. So she would obviously do both sides of this exercise on her own. And then if she wants to finish it up, just adding strength at the center, she can also just go straight up and take out that rotation as well. Awesome. Just make sure you don't lengthen up and straighten that spine or it's really hard to get out of. You're gonna stay in that C-shaped spine the entire time. All right, let us know what you thought about this oblique strengthener in the comment section.